Hi, my inspired friends. I'm gonna do a little chat today, and it's a tough subject. It's something that none of us really ever wanna talk about. Um, it can be joyful, but most of the time it is devastating, especially when we lose one of our beloved animals. And in the past couple of months, um, in the inspired community, we have lost quite a few of our beloveds. There are friends, there are family members. Um, they may be dogs, they may be cats, they may be horses. I'm sure there's people who grieve their fish and snakes, but since I, I don't know anything about that, I'm just gonna be chatting a little bit about what grieving is. And how does that affect us when we lose one of our beloveds? And yes, compared to 50, 60 years ago, animals have become family members. And the grief that we experience is just so deep and unexplainable. And thinking about how we can move on from the loss of one of these amazing animals that graced our lives, that God brought into our lives to enrich us, to help us to grow, to be our partners, and in some cases, our therapy dogs or therapy horses. So today I just am gonna go really quickly and just say, um, there's four animals that I just want to honor that in their, and they're humans that are grieving pretty deeply their losses right now. Um, my student, Beth, and her beloved horse, Wilson, and my farrier, Jillian, with her beloved horse, Honor, with my friend, Kelly, and her horse, Kokomo, and my neighbor friend and her husband's therapy dog, Marina. And, and of course, I will honor my three horses that have passed on to heaven to run the hills in joy and greet all of my family members who remember them and love them. So let's just spend some time in contemplation of honoring these animals that came into our life for a reason. They came in, like I said earlier, to fulfill something in our lives that we're lacking. Now, I know people who have had multiple dogs. I've had three, three dogs, and they're already in puppy heaven. Um, my parents had cats. Um, I've had three horses go to horse heaven. So each one of them was devastating to me and a huge loss. And I didn't think I could move on. After the last loss of my Sir Lancelot, um, I actually had close to a breakdown. And my husband whisked me away to California so that I could get away because I was grieving so deeply. So I, I feel people's loss over animals that fill such a big space in our hearts. And each one of these animals were their human's heart dog or heart horse. And I also knew them and loved these animals. So as we grieve and as we mourn the passing of our beloveds, and trying to find space to open our hearts to maybe get another dog, maybe another horse, maybe, or do we just walk forward in our grief knowing that maybe it's just too hard and it is devastating. I've been to numerous euthanasias between dogs, cats, and horses I worked for a vet in Stillwater, Minnesota. And I also went to the euthanasias of my client's horses. 
I needed to be there. I needed to be able to help them to walk through their grief. I wasn't able to be with my two horses because for one reason or another, um, I wasn't allowed in the clinic by the time that they allowed my horses to majestically find their way back to heaven. And so I grieved over that. That was really difficult. So as we grieve, we know that there is a, a poem called The Rainbow Bridge. And I'm just going to, you know, just say a little bit of it. It's called The Rainbow Bridge. Just this side of heaven is a place called The Rainbow Bridge. When an animal dies that has been especially close to someone here, that pet goes to The Rainbow Bridge. There are meadows and hills for all our special friends so that they can run and play. There's plenty of food, water, and sunshine, and our friends are warm and comfortable. All the animals who have been ill and old are restored to health and vigor. Those who were hurt or maimed are made whole and strong again. Just as remember them in our dreams of days and times gone by. The animals are healthy, and content except for one small thing. They each miss the someone very special to them who had left them behind. I know I get very emotional, but just know that I grieve deeply for loss because I love deeply. These animals that have graced my path, my students, horses, my own, my friends, dogs, my friends, animals, I have cared deeply for them. And I care deeply for their humans who grieve. So today, just know we can hold space for each other in this community, because loss is loss, grieving, may never stop, it, it is forever, because they hold, we hold their paw prints, their hoof prints in our heart. So, blessings to you. I know this is kind of sad, but I give honor to the horses, the cats and dogs and birds and snakes and frogs and whatever, the fish that have come before us, who have made their way they transitioned into heaven. Blessings to you all.